Hello everyone, this is Tailspin19 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. In the last video, we went through the Gaia Pass to reach the airship where we were not able to rescue Fuji, but we did get a pendant, which got stolen from us by none other than Amanda from Glaive's Castle. Are you okay, boy? You are in Menos. Amanda left the village earlier this morning. Oh, lovely. We used to see many chocobos around here. I saw an egg in a forest up north. Chocobo, see, there is still some connections, despite it being a side story. Um, what have you got? You got a wind spear. I will buy that. <gasps> I can finally sell that gold. Where is it? I didn't use it up. What? Oh, come on. Oh, whatever. Music. Stop doing that, you're scaring me. I used to hear a beautiful sound of hop over in Jad. Jad is at the north end of the desert. Wait, can we talk to the white mage? Amanda's little brother, Lester, is a musician. He's playing harp in a town called Jad. That's interesting. Why did the harp music stop then? Oh yeah, here's the X cures. I don't even know what Moogle does, honestly. It doesn't cure from Moogle status, so I don't know. Um, I could just use heal magic for that. We'll see how things go later. Things go bad, well, there is another town. And in here, a family. The Book of Ice is hidden somewhere in the desert. What's wrong with Amanda lately? She's depressed. I could probably piece things together. Because I've played it, and because of what I've heard- Oh, go away! I know you're an old man, but... I'm sorry! <laughs> I get it, I'm a bad person. Okay, fine. <laughs> let's... Let's go this way first. Actually, what I could do right now is check out the strength of my new Wind Spear. It's stronger. And it's got some nice range too, as we will soon see. See? It's pretty long. And oh, gold! This one better not disappear. But it can't hurt clouds, of course. Can it hurt fishmen? Yes, it can. But it doesn't matter because I need a whip. What's this way? Somewhere I probably shouldn't be going. Yet. What is this way? Even the whip is starting to show signs. What was the point of that? Uh, let me get on my spear again because it's definitely stronger than the chain whip. Even the chain whip is starting to lag behind. There is a better whip later in the game though. Like in Castlevania 2. Like in Castlevania 2, there is a whip better than the chain whip. And I think it's actually a flame whip. How in the world did you hurt me? You're in a tree! I leveled up. I guess I'm not using that cure yet. Oh, lovely. It didn't even ask to affect the menus. Look at that. Ah, music glitches. Gotta love them. There we go. Oh, look! That's where I started! After I got kicked off the waterfall area in the start of the game. It's a Yoshi egg. Come on, Yoshi! Let me see ya! Wow! I it's moving! You're not a Yoshi. What are you? Huh? Hey! Don't follow me! Uh, you think I'm your mother? 
<sighs> okay. Come with me. And honestly, the Choco was probably the best partner in the entire game. Because you get to run at high speeds and not worry about getting damaged at all. Chocobo best partner ever, and this is also the best version of the Chocobo theme to ever exist. But I'm gonna get off for a moment because... Well, I wanna kill these wolves again. For experience. There we go. But yes, Chocobo is the best partner in the entire game because of this. And I, I did say this is the best version of the Chocobo theme ever. From what I've heard, I played Final Fantasies 1 through 5 so far. Got started on the sixth one at some point. This is my favorite version of the track. It just has the most energy to it. I mean, how could you not like this music? Where's the town? There's another town somewhere in this desert. Okay. What are you? Um. Oh, <gasps> I can I can sell my gold here. Yes. All right, but seriously, where's the town? Maybe I should consult the map. It's quite up north. Now, I know I'm not fighting any enemies, but uh, the music, and besides, I at least want to get to this town first. See if we can get better stuff here. There's no music, that's unsettling. Welcome to Jad. Darius rules this town. I hate it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this... Ugh, um, no reason to go in here. I'm going to have to cut off the audio for this part because this is just annoying to listen to, the static. The poison gas appeared when the harp stopped. Poison gas? You know anything about poison gas? See the huge mansion? That's Damius' house. Okay, okay. Bad guy, okay. What do we have here? Anything good? Ooh, gold equipment. Next tier up. And there we go. I spent a decent sum of money. Ooh, plus six and plus five. Good defensive upgrades. I love it. Ah, shut up! Just keep trying to make noise. I'll eventually get out of here. Ugh, there we go. Oh, I already talked to you. I don't need to... I thought he was going to make me try and talk to him again. Oh, hi. Davies' mother's a Medusa. She's in a cave. It's by the oasis of the desert, but it's hard to find. I don't know how, but a boy knows how to get in. Yes, there is a boy that does know. Not the Lally Hall guy. Darius can cast a spell to change people to animals. Many people went to his place and never came back. Lally Ho! Is that Final Fantasy 4 or 5? I don't remember. <laughs> Cave of Oasis? I'll take you for a bag of fang. Yeah, I don't have a bag of fang. So he tells you how to find the dungeon. Which, by the way, is probably the most, one of the most cryptic moments of the entire game. Northern Valley is filled with fatal poison gosh. So it is. Alright, I'm done in this town. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is one of those cryptic moments in the game, and I most certainly had a lot of trouble finding the place. Yes, I want to take my chocobo with me, although now it's time to fight some enemies for experience. This is actually a very good place to grind for a period of time, as you get experience and levels very quickly here, actually. So it's not a bad idea to just start killing everything you see. There we go. 
Ah! No, uh, hi. They do have quite a bit of health, though. And be careful about the scorpions, because their tail does extend pretty darn far. And besides, I can get my money back this way. Maybe one of them will drop gold? No, probably not. But I love it when they do. I think these are the enemies that drop fangs. Of course, they didn't drop anything this time. Ah, I'm getting stuck. You can barely get stuck in the wall. Okay, then. Let's just keep moving along. And over here? Just a random enemy. This looks like an oasis, but this actually isn't the place where the dungeon is. It's very cruel, and I've read many comments about this being the place where people got real stuck and eventually had to consult guides, like calling the Nintendo hotline, which apparently was very common, because... Oh, there's the bag of fang. Because the second this game was mentioned, pretty much they automatically assumed this part of the game. And yes, this was most likely made due to the rental process of America at the time, where people could just rent the games and the companies that made the games wouldn't actually be making money off of it. So they tried to find many ways to prevent you from actually getting through the game. In this case, it was to make this as cryptic as possible, basically. It was to ensure people would not be beating this game in a rental period. Which, oh my gosh, really. It's the reason the illusion of Gaia's first boss is the hardest boss in the game, which I don't agree with. I never feel like the first boss of a game should be the hardest, due to difficulty balance purposes. The only exception is if it's a game where you can do stages in different orders, like the Mega Man games or Castlevania Lament of Innocence. In that case, I'm fine. It's your choice if you go to the area with the harder boss first. But in other games, don't make the first boss the absolute hardest, they didn't even do anything to the other bosses, and oh boy, I maxed out. Let me take a look at the items I got. Okay. Again, I've got some pretty pointless cures. Now let's just get back to town. With my lovely wind spear. I mean, I know how to get to the dungeon, but I might as well show you the clue you're supposed to get to figure it out. Oh, a ruby. I could probably sell that for a decent amount of money. And, oh my gosh, I have a lot of money. There we go. Ha! <laughs> and, yep, town is this way. Ow. I didn't get poisoned. But if I did, I could just use up one of my pures to f try and free up a little more inventory space. I'm not even sure if I was hitting him. I was. Okay. You're gonna wait for me, Chocobo? Good, you're a good Chocobo. So now let's meet up with that kid. Alright. Yeah. I have a bag of fangs, so tell me. He used the clue. Palm trees and eight. Got it? <laughs> that is a very cryptic clue, admittingly. It took me a while to understand that too, and I had to give this guy so many fangs just to keep rereading it. Anyways, okay, the ruby didn't sell for as much as I thought. I, th I thought it would be like 250 I have another bag of fangs somewhere. Oh, wow. That's nothing. Whatever. No, no, I no. Don't you know? It's very valuable. I'm sure it is, but I've already gotten your information. So leave me alone. No. Oh! I hate townspeople in this game. Go away! 
Why are they so annoying in this game? Why does it have to be you bump into them to talk to them? It's so incredibly obnoxious when you accidentally bump into one and you have to go through all of the speech bubbles when you didn't even... That was half a spear, what happened to it? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep killing these guys for the experience. Hello? Oh, good, this is actually an opportunity to use one of my PRs to free up inventory. Lovely. Thank you, Scorpion. I actually really appreciate that. Gosh, that's, those Scorpions have tons of health. Hello. There we go. Okay, I leveled it up. Yay. Here we go. Okay, now let's see if I can find the Oasis again. I don't exactly remember where it is, actually. Oh well. A little bit of wandering and I'll find it. I think it's actually right to the east. Oh yeah, here it is. This is where this clue comes into hand. Palm trees and eight. Guess what you have to do with it? Yep. Notice how you actually stop moving when you reach certain spots. This is to check that you're going the right way, and... Yep, there we go. That's how you get into the dungeon. Amanda! Did you take the pendant? Why? I I'm sorry. I, I had to bring it to Davius. That pendant was to exchange for my brother, but Davius cursed him and turned him into a parrot. I must get the tears of Medusa to uncurse him. Uh, Amanda, I'll help you. Thank you. All right, so looks like we gotta help Amanda out now. First off, by figuring out where the heck we even go, we find the ice book somewhere here, and pff, why don't we check here? Oh, this will free up another inventory space. How nice. The inventory management in this game is serious. Um, what can hurt these guys? Okay, Silver Sword can. So I guess I'll just use that. I think these are, yeah, they're mummies. With some loose bandages poking out. Again, I want to keep clearing up inventory space, so... First things first is we gotta find the ice book. I'm not sure if something will appear in here. Can I break these with one of my weapons? Yes, I can. Okay, get my sword back out. Uh, no, nothing in here. Whatever. Let's try the other door. Oh, I don't like these shadow guys at all. Alright. Use up some of my cures to get my health back. This snake is bound to be... I think it's poisonous. What's the difference between poisonous and venomous? I, I can't remember. One of them is poisoned from bite, and I think one of them is poisoned by touch. Which one is it? Which? I think I heard Resident Evil kind of screwed up the uses of the words venomous and poisonous. I think venomous is the one poisonous by bite. Yeah. Or in the case of like a wasp or something, a sting. And uh, I, I don't even want to think about that. I really don't want to think about that. At all. Let's see if I can find the Book of Ice before ending this part off. It is somewhere in this cave, and I think kind of signifies a halfway point, in a sense. Or we could just stop there, that's fine too. We'll just have to go through the cave in another video, I guess. I, I was not paying enough attention to my health. 
You gotta pay attention to your health and action RPGs. Keep that in mind. That is the lesson of the day. <sighs> I'll try again in the next video. Until then, this has been Tales from 109, and have a nice day.